we are looking at a lock plate from a Fratelli POD shotgun. The components are as follows. This piece here is the tumbler or hammer, the bridle, the mainspring, the sear, intercepting safety sear, the sear spring, the intercepting safety sear spring. This is the claw of the mainspring. It's attached to the stirrup. and the lock plate itself. We're commonly asked what the differences are between a 7-pin action and a 5-pin action. You can see on this lower gun that it hits a 7-pin action, a typical hall in the hall and side lock ejector pattern. The gun on the top is a 5-pin action. It also is patterned after a hall in the hall side lock ejector shotgun. Here are two lock plates laid in the same orientation as the previous doubles. The top is the five pin lock plate and the bottom is the seven pin lock plate. The main design differences between the two lock plates are is the five has a coil intercepting safety sear spring that's housed in the bridle and uses a plunger to apply pressure to the safety sear arm versus the seven pin lock uses a leaf intercepting safety sear spring and it fixes directly to the lock plate and also then applies pressure directly to the intercepting safety sear arm. Of the two designs there's a lot of debate as to which one is better. On the coil spring Typically, a coil spring has a longer longevity or a useful life than a leaf spring. However, in our tenure of selling these type of shotguns, we have neither replaced leaf or coil spring. So it's really not an issue in terms of a longevity or use of the gun, but it is a, a, a difference in design and time of completion it takes uh, required to produce this style of a lock system.